Hi, in this video I'll show you how to connect up your washing machine to the internet without even opening it up. It would seem that being sick is one of my favourite pastimes. Nothing like being cold and hot at the same time. It's hot! And all the medications, which I love to take. Now this is for your headache, and this is for your sore throat, and this is for your runny nose. And then there's the... <coughs> and you can't forget the... <coughs> it's really a lot of fun. You should try it sometime. One of the issues I have with my washing machine is that it sometimes gets out of balance. And because I have such a large family, it would be nice to know when it finishes so the next slide can go on. This quick hack will allow you to get push alerts on your phone whenever it goes out of balance or whenever it finishes. All you'll need is an accelerometer, a light sensor and an ESP8266. I use one of Adafruit's Feather so the first step is to get your hands on an ESP8266 module. The reason why I chose the Feather Hazard is because it came with onboard LiPo battery support. If power gets disrupted, then it'll still work. If you want to make it easier for yourself, put the headers into a breadboard before soldering. This will line them up nicely. Make sure all your soldering is perfect. You don't want any dry solder joints. Next you'll want to make sure you have support for the ESP8266 board loaded up in your Arduino IDE. Add this to the additional board manager's URL. Then go into the board manager and enter ESP8266 in the search field. Click install and once it's finished you'll see all the ESP8266 boards appear in the menu. Now I initially thought I'd use the beeping of the washing machine to tell me when it was out of balance. So I used another Adafruit part based on the Max 9814, soldered it up, wired it up, and used an algorithm called Fast Fourier Transforms to detect the beep frequencies coming from the washing machine. But I found it to be using far too much CPU, and it wasn't really that reliable, so I ditched it. I moved on to using an accelerometer instead. I used an MPU6050, which is overkill. All you really need is a basic accelerometer. I also used a LUX sensor based on the TSL2561, but you could replace this with a cheap photoresistor. Here's the circuit. There's also two buttons which allows you to set the resting position or calibration point of the two sensors. Wiring up time. I chucked it all onto a breadboard, daisy chaining the two sensor breakouts onto the I2C bus. And there you have it. Once I've done some testing, which I won't bore you with, I moved on to a more permanent solution. The only change I made was using different GPIOs for the two buttons. If you're going to build one yourself, then I used a VeraBoard of this size and placed the LUX sensor here and the accelerometer here and the ESP8266 here. I didn't need to use all the pins, so just used a couple. There were several tracks that I didn't want to collide, so I used a Dremel to cut the tracks away. I used headers so that I could easily reuse the parts later. You don't need to do this yourself and can directly solder. Once you've finished soldering up, cut off any excess wires, then solder up the power and ground crossover wires, and also the I2C bus wires. I found this great box that fitted everything perfectly, and also these small PCB switches. I drilled out two holes in the lid and they fitted perfectly. Then soldered the switches up to the Vero board. I drilled a hole in the side of the box and filed it square for the USB plug and then closed it all up. Notice the extra drill hole in the lid for the light sensor? Depending on your washing machine, you may want to place it elsewhere. Oh, don't forget, you'll need to super glue the buttons in, otherwise they'll fall out when you press them. Then screw it all up. Oh, sorry, I mean, screw the screws in, not make a mess of it. Next, you'll need to sign up on the InstaPush website, which will allow you to receive alerts. Next, add an application, then an event. Make sure you enter in these fields like this. Click on Add Event and you're done. Next you'll need to click on the Basic Info tab and record the application ID and secret somewhere. Then go to this address in your browser and if you're using Firefox, you should be able to view the certificate and find the SHA1 fingerprint. Record this as well as you'll need it. Then open up My Washing Alert sketch and update these three variables with the information you've just collected. 
Also update the SSID and password for your Wi-Fi access point. Next download and install InstaPush on your phone. It's available on both Android and iOS. Sign in using the same credentials as on the website. One issue I discovered is that GPIO 16 that I used for one of the buttons is actually tied to reset on the ESP8266. This is actually a feature of these modules and allows it to be woken up from a deep sleep. This caused the button to not really work as expected. So I moved that button over to GPIO 13 and put everything back in place as best I could. Testing time. OK, seems to all work. In my software, I've also provided a handy method of being able to control it across the network by telnetting to the IP address. That all seems to work as well. So I used a bit of blue tack to secure it to the washing machine display. This allows the light to shine onto the sensor and therefore tell me when the washing cycle has finished. When I power on the machine, it'll send an alert. And when the cycle has finished, it'll turn the display off. Testing for out of balance is easy, just use some old gym weights. Which just works. So there you have it, an easy way of connecting your washer to the internet. If you made one yourself, then let me know about it in the comments section below. And also any improvements or bug fixes you've made. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed this video, and if you subscribe, you'll be notified whenever I publish new weekly videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next week.